Problem three. Rachel wants to tile the part of the deck that's shaded below with tiles that are one square foot. So I see that this is her deck and she wants to put tiles on this shaded part. Our question says, how many tiles will Rachel use to cover the area of the shaded rectangle? So I need to get a better look at this. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just so I can see what's going on. Cause I need to figure out what the area is cause that's the only part I wanna color in. So this is an example where counting squares is not the best strategy because I cannot see squares because this figure is shaded in. So it's important to use, remember that formula we talk about length times width and let's figure out how long this part is. So I see one square unit, two, two units, three, four. So this is four um, feet, I think was our unit. I'm gonna change colors so that's kind of hard to see. This part is four. Just four. Okay, now let's look here. One, two, three, four, five, six. This part is six feet. So to figure out how much is inside here, what's the area of the shaded part, I'm gonna multiply my length times my width. So four times six equals what? Take a minute to quiet solve. You can write out your skip counts if you'd like. You can write six, 12, 18, 24. So this is four groups of six. And I know my final answer is 24, but again, I know I'm not completely done yet because it says, the question is asking us, oh no, it looks crazy. What, how many tiles will she use to cover the area? And it says a unit here, it says one square foot. So I know that my answer needs to have that unit in it. So my final answer would be 20 feet, 24 square feet. Um, and you could write a full sentence. You could say Rachel needs, Rachel needs 24 square feet. Sorry, it's kind of hard to read on this. Some cursive needs 24 square feet. So not only did I use the length and the width to help me solve that, but I also used multiplication, which was more efficient in this case, because it's hard to draw tiles and keep it completely neat. That's not the most efficient strategy.